was on June 30th, 1972, that the Ord River Dam was opened by then Prime Minister William McMahon. The banner, which covered the monument to be unveiled at the official opening, can be seen on display at the Kununurra Museum. Photographs and film from the day show the fashions of 50 years ago, set in the splendour of the venue, with the significance of the occasion. In one photograph, people are looking skyward, which I'd wondered about until I was able to connect it to the ABC's John Barnett flying over the new lake to report a very different view of the official opening. Well, I was there, but as you can hear, I wasn't there, if you can follow that logic. In actual fact, I'm uh, flying over the main dam. At the moment, I see a official opening, and I can see the ceremony going on down below. It is an awe-inspiring sight. Along with the original tender document that came to us a few years ago, another object at the museum is a very large cloth-covered book to commemorate the start of work on the Ord River Dam, which contains some fascinating photographs, including of a model made envisaging the completed dam. There are photographs showing Ord Stage 1 with details of works involved the signing of the contracts. One of the most interesting things is that this book had been placed in a skip bin by the son of the original owners, but it was thankfully retrieved by his sister, who donated it to the KHS archive. It is the magnificence of the Carboid Range that holds back the waters of Lake Argyle. The Ord Dam, a tiny plug which blocks the path of the river down through the Carboids and onto the irrigable plains. Lake Argyle, most aptly named for the station it inundated is effectively the reservoir for the Ord River irrigation area, which can be seen in these map overlay animations. The Arbuckle film, which has been remastered and stabilised, only came to us a few years ago, and is a wonderful record that captures the day The photographer seems captivated by Sonia McMahon, wife of the Prime Minister. One story well known locally, but not known widely in Australia, happened on the eve or very early morning of the 1972 Ford River Dam official opening. As the Prime Minister's entourage slept soundly at the Kununurra Hotel, a well-known local larrikin's idea of a bit of a joke these days would likely carry a jail sentence. He had decided to go to the middle of the dual carriageway on Messmate Way, directly in front of the hotel where the Prime Minister slept. It was here he ignited a stick of gelatin which exploded to awake the entire town culprit had headed to the safety of his bed and when the police arrived there soon after his moke was reputed to have been found still warm though Jim himself tells a tale that it was the marks from his socks that gave the game away. 